everybody, Wingman here. I'm here with Jeffrey Silverman, and we're at the James Webb Space Telescope, right? Did I get that That's right? That's right. Right, so tell me a little about, what is it? What, what is this thing? So this is going to be the new big telescope from NASA. It's going to be sort of the follow-up to the Hubble Space Telescope. Run on, run on. So uh, we have our full-size model. This is not going to go into space, but it is the full size of the telescope back here. Uh, and this is going to peer deeper and further into space than ever before. Now, where's, it's going to be positioned beyond the moon, right? That's right. So it's going to be at the Lagrange 2 point, as we call it. It's going to be beyond the orbit of the moon, kind of past the Earth, further from the sun, and sort of go with the Earth as it orbits the suns. Now, the last time we launched a big telescope, the Hubble, do we need some cloth? Do we need to clean off the lens? What do we need to do to make sure that we get the visibility we need here? So what's great about this one, something that wasn't quite done with Hubble, we're going to put together the telescope, the instruments, they're going to send it down to the Johnson Space Center in Houston, they're going to stick it in a big giant tank basically where they uh, actually tested the lunar modules right. back in the day. Wait a minute, what you're telling me is they're actually going to beta test it before they send it? beta tested people. It's kind of <laughs> like we do on video games. We're here with Sam Baldwin. He's an engineer on the project. Sam, how you doing? Good. Welcome. So, well, I guess I'm welcome. So, tell me what it is. What are we doing here? What is this cool thing? This, it's not a wine rack, right? No. Okay. Not, not a wine rack, but right. you could fit something in there. <laughs> um, so, ATK is responsible for building the back plane. Right. And the back plane support frame. Mm -hmm. And the optical bands for the James Webb Space Telescope. And what it is, is it's a bunch of carbon fiber. This is amazing. This is so lightweight. Yeah, very light and very stiff. Yeah, give it a little squeeze. That's my head echoing. That's amazing. I mean, it, it's got a little bit of give. Not much, though. That's amazing. Yeah. We're with Allison Barto here, and you're with? I'm with Ball Aerospace. Ball Aerospace. And she's going to talk a little bit about the mirrors. So tell us a little bit about what we've got here. All right. We make all of the mirrors for the James Webb Space Telescope. There's 18 individual mirrors that make up the whole large primary mirror. And the amazing thing about these things is we've got to be able to launch them into space, and they have to perform really, really well when they're full. The other thing that we have to do is we have to align all the mirrors to each other. We have to move this mirror in space five nanometers at a time. So, Jeffrey, the last question we have for you is, is, have you seen Pete Mackey, our weather wizard? Uh, we can certainly try and take a look for him, but haven't spotted him yet. I think he's in the Corral system. All right, we'll take a look. Well, thanks very much for telling us a little bit about it. You're it looks very really, really cool. And hopefully they'll have better materials than what they've got out here because that looks like my camper. <laughs>